Yo, 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 CEO Feast checking in. You now tuned in. This is directed by CEO Nafis. I have a very, very special guest today. Very impactful. Uh, when it comes down to being funny, he's that. The birds are chirping. Mr. A-Town. What's up, town? What's up? What's going on, player? I'm good. What you up to? What you been up to? Well, I'm on dialysis with the poor kidney. Yeah, man. Um, I see that, man. And uh, I know it's a fight and it's a battle and I know you a fighter, right? Right. For sure, man, and um, we're gonna get into the uh, the situation with your kidney and things like that. Um, first, I wanna I wanna ask you, like, what was your first like? How how did you become a town? Uh, I always was a town. It just it just got to spin. Well, I was in Coney Art School, and I came big by just saying one word. Fuck that shit, I'm sexy as shit. That blew up on Vine. I didn't know I was blowing up, you know? So uh, that was like 40 from market because I went to culinary school. Because somebody said, hey, 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 um, I heard you rap. Good job. Uh, say something funny. So I said, no, I was already mad at the school because uh, they saw me was doing stuff. They, like, they said, how you going to get a job, getting a good job? I thought they was right. Until that one day, this guy somewhere out of nowhere said, I heard you rap. Come on, say something. I'm like, no. Nah. I said, fuck. And he, and he said, bro, you're meat. And I said, I said, I said, fuck that shit. I'm sexy as shit. That blew up on Vine. And mm -hmm. I didn't know I was uh, coming famous. And I get a call the next day, like, hey, you hood famous. Like, what, is this? like, what are you talking about? I, I ain't glad I used to run away from people because I didn't know what the heck they were trying to do because at the time I was looking for jobs a long time ago. And when this guy out of nowhere at 30th Street Station, he must have been an angel because he came to me and said, can I pray for your journey? I said, yeah. And I started crying because I didn't understand what he was saying. So as we got done walking away, and I'm like, God, what you trying to say or do? And, you know, and that came out from that. Damn, that's crazy. So you didn't even know that you was going by. You didn't even know somebody called you and told you it's popping like that. And then that... Then as the as the as the the world turns, you outside people asking for pictures, and you just like whoa. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because at the time I was still looking for jobs, and also I was basically just being myself still. And uh, when I was still walking around as in life, trying to understand like should I still keep looking for jobs, or should I try this? And I asked myself in the mirror, let's try it. You don't know what can happen. Just try it. Yes, you know the consequences of that. Don't do that. Don't do wrong. Just try to be you. Of course, you know, get ready. If God says, let's go, let's go. For sure. Yeah, man. And you know, you was like, still is. You know, you, you had your own lane and you was so, so big. I'm like, who this guy? You know? I didn't know I was that big. Like on the inside, like me, you never know how big on the outside is. That's so true. That's so true. Like you look at, like, I look at the success of the show that we have and I'm like, I'm just doing interviews, having fun. But so many people call me. I've been getting so many calls. Yo, I'm proud of you, man. The show, the show, the show. Right. And it just feel like, 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 okay, like, okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. It don't feel like, it don't feel how this look, how it's presented on the outside. outside. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. How old are you now, Tim? I'm 30. 30. You young. You a young boy. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. You don't feel young? No, I feel old. 30 years old is like a definitely, a definitely an age of reality. You know what I'm saying? Um, You grew up with your mom and your dad? My mom. Where your dad? I still talk to him. We still talk. Y'all still cool? Mm-hmm. We talk. Your mom, what, what, what kind of what kind of mom is your mom in the whole? Like, is she a God-fearing woman? Or? Yes, she's a God-fearing woman. She's an LPN. She's a nurse. Uh, she's a lovable mom. She get on me if I do something wrong, of course. Uh, my mom is like, well, like, I'm not saying spiritual, but she knows, like, certain things. She's real wisdom-wise. Yeah. I seen her in the... Um that viral video when she was with the cat. What happened that day? She just was Oh no, because the cat it peed on the cell. And my mom was trying to take watch that cat a bath. And I said, 
Well, I got I got a video we could do. And I said, let's let's be out. So let me record it. She like, all right. Grab the, it took a while to grab that cat. And we grabbed the cat and we was washing it. And I put soap all over the cat. And I said, don't put the soap in the eyes. So I watched the cat. The cat meowing, scratching. She's screaming, everything. I'm here cracking up, laughing away. And I said, I knew this was going to be a good video. As soon as I posted up, you had the whole Hollywood unlock, everything. Right? A lot of people posting it up. And I was like, yeah. But some people, how you think is, this is why people tag themselves. Not tag, like on the bottom of my, on the tag of the video so nobody would steal your video. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta do that too so nobody would take your video thinking it was theirs. Right. So people would do that. You gotta watch so, that. Yeah, you right. Did, did you have your tag on there? No, I didn't have my tag, but people know it was me because right. people know my mom. Right. And people know who I am. So it's like, you no, know, they know who my mom is because every time I used to be at her job, oh, can we take pictures with her? I'm like, y'all supposed to be working. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was working. Not worry about me. I was just see my mom. Yeah, 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 for sure. How that fame feel? It feels. I ain't gonna lie. It's not. I'm not saying I don't like it. I really do, because at the end of the day, it just feels like wow. Like I'm surprised people really know me. Do they really love me for me, or what can I do for this world? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful. So fame is, it could be good or bad. That's how you put it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, the birds are chirping. The birds, you had the birds, you had them flocking. Yes, I did. You had the birds going crazy. Yes, I did. And I was surprised, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of people, I had so many celebrities was loving the stuff I do, but I had so many celebrities who was trying to sign me, mm -hmm. but I turned a lot of them down. Yeah. Why I turned a lot of them down? Because they didn't know who me, like my health, all they saw was quick cash. No, let me give you an example. I know I love Rick Ross and all, brought me on stage and everything, but he asked me at the end of this, at the back, you know, where I be at. He was like, I want to sign you that MMG, this and that. I said, nope. I said, because you don't know my health. Right. You got to know my health before you, before you, um, before you sign me. Right. Like, that's for everyone. You got to know my health. And somebody say, we could get to know, no, you should have been watching, not just because you want to make quick cash. This is right. really serious. If anything goes wrong, what you going to do? You going to just say, call an ambulance for me? Right. Or anything like that? No. So you, you're not, you're not really pressed about the money? No, no. It's about, it's about no. to help first. Yes. I'm not really pressed about money. I was, when I grew up, we get it ourselves. Mm -hmm. My mom always told me, get it yourself. My dad told me, if you plan to be rich, get up your ass and be rich. Mm -hmm. That's how I got you. So, you know, you gotta learn a lot from your family and what your mom and dad taught you is what we talk from home. Mm -hmm. And what we talk from home is like, Okay, and we got out to the real world, and you see how the other people been taught, and you're like, wow, thank God our mom and dad taught us this way. Right. You know what I'm saying? I must say I was a bad kid, but I was been bullied a lot, and I almost got killed for bullying, and I almost committed suicide. It was so much going on, especially my health and not teachers, not listening to everything. Yes, I was in special ed, but, you know, being special ed was the best thing because y'all might learn something different, and so did we. But the stuff we was learning was like, wow. Like, you know, out to the real world, some of y'all cutting glass that we cut glass. And it was like, hmm, that's weird. Dang, that's mm -hmm. deep. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have autism. You know what I'm saying? It don't look like it, but I might, people call me slow. Hey, keep sleeping on me. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people you never know what people are going through and health problems or anything. And look what they came out on top. Might not look like it or see it or everything. But hey, me, I'm really happy that I'm alive. I love my life so much because I'm happy what God could put me to do for these people in life. You know what I'm saying? Even though God did his job and it's time to do our job to return the favor. You talked about bullying. Yes. Speak on that, like how 
bullying for us, like, getting picked on because of my size, the way I look, my health. Uh, even though you try to explain to people, sometimes we're like, it's none of their business. It's really not. You know, you like me, you like me, you don't, you don't. Not like my mom always tell me, in this world, hey, not everyone's gonna like you. And I said, to what? I said, why, mommy? Why? Because it's how they are. I said, that's do they hate me? These people. That's just how they are. And I'm like, oh, the best thing you can do is annoy them. But the way that how this comedy is, you don't know and walk away. They come up and still bother you. And that's when you have to use your hands. Mm -hmm. And yes, I've been to fights elementaries every day, fighting. And they get a call from my mom, Baby Boy, that was my nickname in elementary, Baby Boy, after that movie, Baby Boy. Mm -hmm. And they was like, what and my mom, and they said, what did Baby Boy do this time? Fighting, I remember this guy, he he was bothering me so much, and I got so mad, I just threw a rock, and then all of a sudden hit him in his lip. And he come up wanting to fight me, and then the next day his lip was swollen. His grandma came to my, who hit my grandbaby, this and that. And they said, compared to his size and look at his size. They said, and the grandma couldn't say anything. Cause mm. like, wow. You know what I'm saying? And middle school got worse cause somebody brought a gun to school trying to kill me. And cause, for well, what? I'm like, because that's, that was weird. And I asked that person, why are you trying to kill me for? He said, he said, you told your mom you trying to kill me? He said, he said, guess what? I was trying to kill you. I'm like, Dang. But now, be honest with you, not to say bad or anything, they did now. Everybody just whoever bothered me, they did or they in jail. And it's a true story. I'm like, damn. I mean, God got you. God got you. You're not to be played with. You're protected by God. You know what I'm saying? Right. It feels, I'm be honest with you, it feels like we're not protected because it's hitting us like boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. You might be feeling hit, but at the end of the day, they will feel worse to than you because what they did. I do not play about their child. As a kid, when you was coming up, did, did you did you have a problem with how you looked? Did you did you, did it depress you? I had therapy. I had therapy, like figure out like why is life is this way, and why is this? Cause I always not saying I had always upset, but I was upset to people not understanding me and not sit down and take their time and talk to me instead of just laughing at me or doing stuff and doing dumb stuff and think I won't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, the thing I did was dumb was when I was the age of 17, I brought a knife to school trying to kill somebody because I got tired of bullying. And um, the police people, you know, I, this way I, told, I told one of my crush, I was about to do something, and she told on me. And next, you know, I all of a sudden the cops came and all this stuff. And I called my, and they told me to call my mom. And I don't know if I would get locked up or what. My mom was saying, "Lock him up, lock him up, lock him up." I'm like, "Lock me up? Like for what? Why would you say that?" You know what I'm saying? Then uh, the police that the police chief was like. No, don't lock him up. He's a good kid. One place a long time. So I'm in the police. Office. I was the whole talk of the whole high school. Mm -hmm. And this is why I say watch out for friends, right? So I'm in the black of, I'm in the back of the police car with no handcuffs to send all like, like, like so mad, like fuck, 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 fuck. Then next you know, I'm in the holding cell. Next you know, this little boy came in and he was like, Hey man, what's up? I said, what's up? He was like nine years old. I said, what you get locked up for? He said, I had weed on me. I said, from who? My brother and stuff. I said, you got a record? He said, now I do. He had sent me. I said, no. I said, mm. Hmm. So I said, hmm. And as you know that my mom was like, um, the DA talked to my mom and everything and all that stuff. I didn't want to eat nothing because I was so mad and everything. And people was like, why you didn't tell nobody this? And I said, for what? I'm tired of telling people. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all can do is suspend people and Tell and coming back do the same thing. I'm like, I'm tired of this shit. So when I um so while I'm in the after the DA saw me for a little bit and my mom and my mom came and got my mom got me out the thing and all that stuff. They said, Hey, my mom said, Hey, you going away? I said, We going to Disneyland? And my mom said, No, we're going to the create uh, mental detention center. So when the mental detention center Finally, I was there for two weeks, 
it's not funny, man. It's not. So I basically in the crazy house for two weeks. The DA thought it was crazy, but they said if I do it again, then I get locked up. But since my health and history was going on, I get passed. And my mom said, you should be thinking, God, this and that. I was like, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about what the hell just happened. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to call my homies up. They're not answering them. I'm like, what the hell? Hell and everything. And But here's the thing. When I start coming big, that's when they start coming around. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, Tim. Yes, and this is what I said. No new friends, no fake friends, no none of this shit. I'm telling you. This is real story. When I start coming up, they all try to hang around me or this and that. And I said, where were you when I was down? Oh, I was trying to mess, talk to a girl. I said, what about a fucking female that I'm in trouble? When you was down, I had your back. You know, you fighting up a B&O and I had, and I'm, when I had your back, even though I wasn't there like that, but when you was in the school, I made sure you come into the gym so you could stay away from those people, anything, but they ain't want to listen to me. But then when I start coming up, hey, I want to be around with the females or I want to do this, be around. I'm like, nope. And I said, no, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? Even I had, I thought I had a friend. You know what I'm saying? I can't say no names, but I thought I had a friend. But he used to spend the night at my house one time. Uh, this one, I was like 13 years old. But when I start coming back, because I call him, like, come on, man, let's hang out. Let's have homies, like, like you know, let's have God's night out. You know, we haven't seen each other since after high school. What's going on? No, I'm busy. I'm working this and what about this day? No, I'm working this and that. All right. You know what I'm saying? He kept denying it. So since I come back, I get a call from him. He said, hey, where you at? I'm about to come scoop you. Because I was just came from a birdhouse. And he like, hey, where you at? I'm about to scoop you. I said, fuck you. Where were you been at this and that? I hang up on him. Click. And he never called back because he knew he was wrong. When he seen you with all the celebrities. And no, it was in the beginning because he see people starting to know who I am. Right. Yes, you gotta watch that. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. You're very intelligent, huh? Thank you. And people judge you and think you're not off of how you look. Right. And I'm like, hey. hey. And I'm I'm glad they do that because you can sleep on me you want. Go ahead, keep sleeping. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Um snacks. Mm-hmm. It's all over the internet. It's all over the world. Mm -hmm. What happened with you on Snacks? Because y'all was so much of a great... I don't it know. It might look like it's great, but you know the backstory. How you see... You know how you watch this uh, show, Unsung? Yes. You see the backstory of that? Why is this, this, and that, this, and that? Yeah. The backstory... You, when you see the backstory, you wouldn't even have a clue that that was all going on. Right. Night. Right. But you're looking at the singing and the dancing. Right. And the album sales. Yeah. <clears throat> So, I want to hear your side of the story. What happened with you on Snacks? Was it miscommunication? No, ain't no miscommunication. He was just upset, mad, because I'm the star. He wanted to be the star. Mm -hmm. And people didn't want to be around him. A lot of people didn't want to do work. I couldn't do work with people because they ain't because I was with them. Damn. And I had labels. Everybody wanted to do stuff. And this true story, you know, 300 Records, Kevin Lau. Yes. I remember one time we went up to the in New York that we wanted to um, uh, see what's going on. Like, his he was doing, he was playing music for people, not our music. But when we got into the meeting, he, he played our music, right? And he said, and then Kevin Lau was like, okay, that's good, that's good, that's nice. Yeah, come up with something better, right? And everything we just talking about normal stuff. Then tell me that uh, when he left, when, when he said, okay, come back with something better, okay, have a good day, right? He pulled me to the side. Kevin Lyles pulled me to the side and said, let me know when you're ready. I said, mm. Mm. I said, mm. That was a message. Yeah, but I couldn't do anything because me and him was a package deal. You know how many people wanted to sign me, not him? I had Soulja Boy wanted to sign me, Rick Ross. I had... A lot of people wanted to sign me, not him, but I'm like, be a package deal, so it couldn't happen. Your loyalty was to him? Yes, my loyalty was always was him, but his loyalty was not with me because he saw me. He thought he thought I was going to leave him, but I said, bro, we in this guy. You saw I turned a lot of stuff down. We got this. We on top. We don't need people, and we got this, me and you. French Montana was trying to sign me, and but French Montana people pulled me to the side. Like, I don't think he's going to take good care of you. So my, I think... 
I myself, I don't know if I was dumb for this, but I went back and tell Snacks like what they said. But it must have clicked in his brain like, oh my gosh, I can use them. But I'm showing my loyalty to you. Like, I got you, bro. I ain't gonna let nobody take us away. Poor us, you us apart. Right. He didn't see that. He saw it was quick cash, you know? And signed to a, to a person in Houston that I didn't want to sign to because he saw quick cash. We all got 10000 a piece, and I ain't like it. And I said, bro, I ain't want this at all. I knew someone was right because uh, we came back from L.A., and that's when I'm in the bathroom. He knocking the door hard, because I'm in the bathroom trying to get myself just clean up and stuff. But he was like, hey, we got to go do with this. I'm like, I don't want to be around him. I just knew it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, I was just like, shh. Because he went without me, but I had to follow him, make sure he ain't do nothing stupid. Sure. So I had to follow him, and I'm like, yo. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like nobody was answering me and nothing like that. Then I'm like, oh, man. Then all of a sudden, do 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 I'm like, yo, because those people was gangsters, you know, they went and, you know, they were trying to, like, hold me to my accountability. I'm like, yo, I don't want to be around this or nothing but you know that and that's where all the stuff bad more commotions happen with people and everything a lot of people was mad at him like why'd you make him sign this like everybody knew he was wrong for that everybody just felt it and before that even my lawyer was tough put me to the side because me and him had contracts together at the time and my lawyer put me to the side like i don't think he like I understand I ain't listen because we was coming up top. I know they was hating on us, so we was coming up top so fast. So that's just like, wow. So, so your business is booming. Mm -hmm. um, deals is on the table. You signed a crooked, crazy deal mm -hmm. that you didn't want to sign, mm -hmm. but you signed it just to be because you look because of your loyalty. Mm -hmm. So. From that point, where, where where do we go? All right, so, oh, yeah, we're doing shows, this and that, everything. Uh, with other people in it, too, other people, his people. Because, you know, of course, he said his people. Like, you got to have street people in case something pop off. And I said, I don't need y'all. I don't want y'all around me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all around me. I just knew. I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they was bad people, but I just knew that they saw faint. And they told me, don't be like uh, Meek Mills or something like that. And I said, why? Like, what is, like, now I see why they saying don't be like him, but at the same time, I see why Meek Mills is this way, why he this way. You know, so it makes me think, like, oh, so it's y'all, it's not, that's is why we want to distance away from y'all. Right. Because of what y'all do and how y'all act. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm in clubs. You know, doing my thing, you know, making noise, everything, laughing, joking with females, everything, blah, blah, blah. Watching my back, watching his back. And I had gangsters in clubs come to me like, let me know, let me know if you're okay. I said, why? What's going on? Let me know if you want snacks killed. They're like, no, 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 no. Because they seen it. Right. I'm like, no, he's good. Stop. Like, I had to stop everything. Like, no. Like, in that fact... I'm like, how do I tell him without, you know, what he, that? But I said, let me just tell him. And I told him, but he was like, people trying to kill you too? I was like, yeah, right, I don't believe that. Because I know how gangsters was coming to me in the party. I'm hearing them. And it's what other stuff, business going on. He pushed me away because he was trying to be the story. Like, I'm in hotels. I'm like, why am I sitting in the hotel all day? We ain't doing nothing all day. But he go out with somebody and then he trying to get stuff without me. And it didn't work because they said, where A-Town at? Where A-Town? Or if I'm out, somebody said, what's next? But it's not like, that's how it is. Everybody want to do stuff with me. And I'm glad, you know, of course, you know, but it's like being with him, even I got sick, it was the reason why I got sick because of God was protecting me and would get away from him because I'm like, God, I'm crying, like, God, something like even dreams is telling me stuff too. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God, please protect me or do something. And he said, I'm gonna get you sick. And I'm like, no, don't get me sick, but it has to be for a reason to get me sick. And when I got sick, you know, um, he didn't want to be in the hospital. 
you know, I said he didn't want to be in the hospital. When he did come to the hospital, the doctor's talking right to me. And he's right there, like, you right here, and I'm in the bed like this. And, and as soon as the doctor left and stuff, why you didn't ask questions? He gonna come to me like, what did the doctor say? You right there, the doctor's talking right to me. Why you didn't ask questions, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He don't want to do that. Then, um, uh, um, doing other dumb stuff behind my back, you know, telling people that, because I get calls or he get calls, like, saying, Snacks is the one got to do this, or A-10 got to do this. I'm like, son ain't right. I'm like, son, why I got to do this? And stuff like, son ain't right. Like, you telling people something that ain't true, or lines, mind, like, people out there, like, mouth mind, like, saying, Snacks is the one doing this, this, and I'm like, son ain't right. Right. You know? And um, he wouldn't let me do stuff on my own, but it was with him. Yeah, he doing it. But with me, no. Um... Uh, he was trying to get me to do bad stuff. Like, you know, to be honest with you, I hate saying this, but he was trying to get me to do coke. Mm -hmm. And I said, bro, I got a condition. What you trying to do? He said, I just want to see what it does. I said, bro, I said, well, you try it then. No. I said, all right then. Why are you trying to make me try it then? And I was so hurt he said that to me. And it was so much stuff. Like, you know, I wanted to, like, of course, yeah, we got in fights, fist fights and stuff, everything. Yeah, we had jokes and stuff, you know, no, uh, yes, people ask me any good times about this. I said, the good times I really asked for or that, that we came up together, even though I was blown up, but we came up together and we just took off and people not understanding that uh, the way we took off was amazing. But the people like him and see like them as go to his head. I wasn't thinking about all the stuff going in my head. I was thinking about, okay, what's the next step? How long is this going to last? So I'm like, wow, I didn't know this lasts this long. It has not know this long. It's 2024. I didn't know I'm still out here doing big things and on my own and got a better team, you know, working on a lot of great things. We're going to get to that later, but we're still on the situation. Um... Um, when, when I got sick, like I said, like something was going on with my stomach. I'm laying like this messed up. This time he met a female and the female, right? You know, I didn't like her cause she's also was quick money. I felt it, but uh, cause he liked her. Like, you know, go ahead. This is what you want. I'm gonna let you do you. I was like, there's somebody trying to say something. Hey. And I get in trouble. Right. I'm like, all right. So. So, um, I remember when I was sick in the hospital and stuff, I get a call and the girl was pregnant, but they, she, but he didn't tell me, he didn't tell me till like a couple of days. I mean, like, like the time before I got sick, he was like, uh, cause people was at some baby shower somewhere. Then he was, then people was telling me, you know, he got a baby on the way. I said, no, he didn't tell me. I said, what? And so I asked him, he said, no, no. I said, what? Then like, Few hours later, he finally told me. I said, "Why you even tell me in the first place? Like, why you hiding stuff?" And I'm like, "Yo, I was just so upset." And I said, "Get out, get out." I said, "I said, I, I told him get out my mom's room," and I slammed the door. And he called people. He won't congratulate me. He won't congratulate me. Next, you know that we told him like he wasn't responsible for me. Why he should congratulate you and you didn't take care of me? Mm. Then next, you know that. Um, I actually, when I got sick, I, I, I wasn't holding uh, nothing down, like, no food, not even water. I was not holding nothing down, so I'm in the hospital, laying like this, messed up, like, yo, what's going on? Why well, I'm not holding nothing down and everything? I'm getting a call from him talking about not knowing that he recorded me, talking about somebody else was saying, so you don't like snacks kids or you don't like kids at all? And I'm like... I kept saying, I, I kept, I was kind of out of it. I'm like, I don't like it. Like, I was so out of it because of the medicines and everything trying to heal me up. Mm -hmm. Then, next, you know, he trying to pull it out on YouTube. And I said, I said okay, you want to do this now? It's okay. Mom, mom, get up. You're not going to work today. We need to do this video. And as you saw the video with me and him, me and my mom talking about what's the stuff he was doing and everything. And, you know, we took care of him too. Like, like, this is the personal side. 
We took care of him for us. Like, cause it's the way he's saying he didn't live with us. Oh yeah, he lived with us. Uh, we took him to Chestnut Hill Hospital when he was sick. And we tried to give him his met for me at the time. Cause he had diabetes. He, he still got diabetes. He obesity. He obesity. Uh, over obesity. Mm-hmm. And he got heart problems. So I know his condition. If you let him tell it, oh, he gonna say, hey, he only got kidney issues. No, I got more issues. I got more. I got the medical bracelet. Mm-hmm. And... Fix your mic. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, got more, I got more conditions. And you let him tell it, he, he think I just got kidney issues. No, I tell him everything. But, uh... When I told him, I said, when we make a million, we're going to get you insurance. If not, and I called my insurance, because I could pull on my insurance. He said, no, you can't do that. Because I really want him to have insurance, because he didn't have anything. Because the sign happens, like medical bills, anything, in hospitals, insurance could pay for that. Because I really want him to be healthy. And I really care about his health and what he was doing. But he didn't care. He didn't care about me. All he saw, what he saw was... Trying to make a quick come up and trying to mediate me, make me a laughing stock. But I was not happy about that and everything. And a lot of people saw it, like pictures, like, you know how I'm smiling, this and that. I wasn't smiling at all. I was always like, like this. And a lot of people kept seeing it and telling me and before. And I remember this lady, she was saying to me, Somebody's blocking your blessings. You need to get away from that person. And I, they knew it was him. And I didn't want to say it was him because I look him brother loyalty. But, and they said, you find it. When you find it, you'll be much better. And I said, hmm. And when that stuff with the stunk happened with me and everything that I told what's going on, that blew up the whole internet. He's lying to me. He didn't live with us. Uh, he's lying, talking about he didn't do this. He didn't take my Instagram. He had a whole plan to take my Instagram and sell it for 20K at a shoe company. And, and when I got, and somebody in my, uh, somebody, somebody keep calling me. Somebody calling me. Can I pause that? Pause that, please. Somebody keep calling me. It's a bird. <laughs> oh, man. Birds always be chirping. <laughs> you record. <laughs> It was a bird. I haven't talked to him in a minute. I ain't talked to him. Like so that. as you talk about snacks, I see that you still have love and compassion for him. I see that that, that, that it hurt you to even talk about it because your whole plan was for y'all to get rich. Right, and made him have insurance, um, made him be good, you know what I'm saying? Like, we both from Philly. We both made out of Philly. He from West, I'm from Uptown, and that would have been... You know what I'm saying? I did pranks on him because I came up with pranks. Like the first prank I came up was water throw on him and that blew up. And just like, you know, short guy, the big guy picking on like short, it's funny pranks. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I knew that was going to go good. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's like, dang, yo, like that really hurts me because it's like I let you into my house, let you eat, let you slept. Anything, anything you wanted, took care of you. We bought you a new phone. We took care of you. We put you on our family plan. Like, we let you mm. have what you needed to have. Mm-hmm. And, you know. So you didn't grow up with snacks? No, I didn't grow up with them. No. Mm-hmm. I met him when I was like 21, basically turned 21. Mm-hmm. So that was like almost like a decade. Right. You know what I'm saying? And. It's like, if I knew this before, I don't think I would have did it. But I thank God it happens. So I know who's there, who's not there. Number of people were trying to work with me, like I said. And now the people who's trying to work with me, they actually work with me now. And it's better. Now, before, I had Snacks was uh, not doing the right thing for as, like, like I said, meetings big things like this big if it ain't him it's it's not it's not a boy i'm like what but he and you basically saying if it's about me it's about you because if i win you win right but he wanted you saying he wanted to be the star 
So if, if it's a big meeting about you, he acting like he don't know nothing about it because he don't want you to shine. He wants to shine, basically. Right. Right. Like, you know, of course, he put out his mixtape straight out of Philly. I was producing it, like helping out with it. I didn't even really want to do that because I knew it was not going to go nowhere like that. People was playing, like playing with us. Like, of course, we had meetings and stuff, but they was not taking us seriously because his music. They know that. And also that. Um, also that. uh Uh, all that, uh, also that, like, my mom got into a car accident, mm -hmm. and, and we was in New York, and it was, it was while it was snowing, it was like kind of cold that time, we had a show, my mom took us to New York, uh, we got into a car accident, this guy came up like this way, and the turn and hit, cause of the snow, because it was, he had snow back in his car, mm -hmm. and he had auto state insurance, auto state. And he kept saying, you was wrong. I was like, no, you hit us. He was wrong. The cops came. The cops knew who we were. And the cop asked, is anybody hurt? No, no, no. Tell me this fool, this dumb, fat, fuck fool, went to the hospital the next day. And next, you know, we get a call from my mom showing somebody who was in the car. My, my mom said, me, my mom best. My mom said, his friend and her. My mom said, his name not on it. His name was on it. He would have got some money. So this nigga was trying to sue us. And we said, you wasn't even hurt. I said, oh, yeah. Yo, I said, okay, now you got to go. My mom like, no, 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 no. Grabbing me like, no, no, no. Everybody's talking to me like, no, hey, don't hurt him. This and that. But this is what I said. God was calling my name. Talking about, if you hurt him, I won't bless you. If you don't hurt him, I'll bless you. And tell me that Satan was in my head for a whole week talking about showing me visions and saying, Alan, listen. I hear how he was talking. He's like, Alan, listen. You do this, you get much respect in the streets. Everybody will forget about him. You will do this, everything. I'm like, no, Satan, you're a lot. Get away from me. Alan, just listen. <laughs> just how he was talking. Just listen. Listen, I know people treat you wrong. This and that, that's how you're supposed to treat a female, this and that, because I got treated wrong by so many females before. Everything, I'm like, no, listen. Listen. I'm like, no, Satan, get away from me. He was trying to show you visions. I was I'm like, listen, Satan, get away from me. He was so mad because I would not pay attention to him. He said, you're going to learn and you're going to understand what I'm saying. So be I'm like, Psh. I just pray. I said, Lord, please, this is hard. If God tests, be tested in the 40 days or 40 nights in the desert when he was tested and no man lives alone with bread, do you think we ain't being tested? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's true. Every day. The test is hard. I'm glad I passed the test because I saw a guy was talking to me a lot of stuff. Now, after what the snack situation was going and done, but it's still out there because people still want to know. I'm still telling, you know, everything. But after that, um, after I got done with certain stuff, but before that, I remember the time that we had a party that we got booked for. And I, and they gave us the money. And all of a sudden I got sick and I went to the emergency room and I stayed there. The party promoters didn't believe me that I was sick. So they came up and saw me. So I get my cut to snack so he could get back to them because you're supposed to do that. You know that. Yes. So tell me this nigga pocketed the money because the promoter was like, where's the money? This didn't happen to the money. I said, I gave snacks the money. I said, I didn't know he pocketed that money. I really didn't. So what he did was he still went into the party and they said, we're A-Town and stuff. And he said, I'm here on A-Town's behalf. They didn't want to see snacks. Snacks didn't tell me that he got booed on stage. And uh, the promoter was telling me, the promoter was telling me that when he got booed on stage and stuff, he was about to fight his people. He was about to fight their people, especially their moms. Like, why are you about to fight their family? Because that's it for what? Because he's mad because he wanted some more money because of, of my behalf. And they said no. And he didn't tell me that he got booed on stage. The way Snacks was saying, I was about to fight the people because you didn't explain. I'm like, son, they write the stories you be saying, don't add enough. Thank God I wasn't there at that party. Now I see why it's not me. I said, no, it's not me. 
snap me. Because every time I go to the parties, yes, I'm having a good time. Yes, I'm being female, all this stuff. Yes, some people get jealous. That's life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, I came up with a trick for him. Like, when, like, we used to be in strip clubs. Like, if you throw money up in the air, which you, what do you do? What's the first thing you do? When, when, when somebody throw money in the air? Mm-hmm. If I throw money in the air? Mm-hmm. The first thing that I do? No. Let's say you throw money in the air. What's the first thing you do? Try to pick it up. You the hoe that night. Right. For sure. If it lands on the them, it's on the ground, it's them. Right. It's up in the air, it's everybody. So I was packing all that, hunt, all those money, come back. It's next like, how you get I suppose it's a technique. They, they thought that if I was a rapper, I would have been clown for that. This is some entertainer, comedian. It looked funny. Yeah, it's funny. And people Very like, smart. and that's why I sure cuss like, mm. I was like, yeah, you not know what I could do. So right. that's why I said, and they was like, even some females was like, you know, post a point. I'm like, uh-uh. I said, I said, give me my bird seeds. That's what y'all get wish for. Bird yeah. seeds. You know what I'm saying? That, that, get that gum- way. That yeah. way you don't got to put no money on them. Right, just give them bird seeds or gummy worms. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's very intelligent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very intelligent. Because you know you can get away with that because you're funny. Right. Now, if I wasn't funny, if I was just a rapper, then that would clown me. Yeah, absolutely. So, were you able to, in, in your journey, did you make a lot of money? I kind of did, but I couldn't already see the money because everybody was in their hand in their pot. And it's like, uh-huh. what the f- it was good, like, you know, like, he had me sleeping in cars, hotel, like, hotels, okay, one thing, but sleeping in cars and stuff, he kept saying, we had the money, we had it, because y'all, I'm like, how you had, it? I'm like, his thing, to be honest with you, I was in the negative when I was around him, I'm like, how am I in the negative, this is don't seem right, because I'm trying to save money in case emergency, something like this, this nigga's talking about his priorities ain't, ain't, well, his, his is on the, how you say it? Champagne taste on a beer budget. Mm-hmm. That's how his was, and he was using people, trying to say, "Oh, look!" Like basically saying, "Hey, yo, sir. Hey, yo, give me this, and I and I shout you out. You don't go out asking for that. And when it comes, it comes. I wasn't asking for free stuff. I was never that. Never was that way. You know what I'm saying? He was asking for people for this and get free stuff. And I'm like, uh. Then when he did get the free stuff, he called his homies and teased them. I said, "You don't do that." I see stuff you don't do. I never did that to nobody. When free stuff comes, it comes. I'm not greedy for free stuff. When somebody handed it, like, you know, like my mom always tell me, nobody owes you anything. And I understand that. And that's why we get it ourselves. For sure. For sure. So where where, where you at now with, 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 with that whole situation? Did you, you got over it? Uh, it still hurts to this day because, like, wow, I can't believe it actually happened to me, but it's a lesson learned. Yeah. It's really a lesson learned. Now, I'm in a better situation now. Got my own LLC. I'm on magazines. I got my own time anti- anti-bullying buttons, my own trading cards. I got more. I, I'm about to do a major movie called Hollywood Lit. I'm, it's a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because before, I didn't have anything. Only thing you saw was on Wild and Out. Right. Now, Wild and Out, they didn't want him on the show. They didn't want him on the show. I made sure he got on the show. How I did that? Because Snoop Dogg put us on the show. We met Snoop Dogg in L.A. We had fun. Because I was usually with French Montana. Then Snoop Dogg wanted to see us. So we in the studio. And all of a sudden, we saw Nick Cannon. And I said, wow. Then Nick Cannon went upstairs. I guess they must have been talking about us. Then next, you know, we went up, then we just started talking. Then next, you know, all of a sudden, I'm like, and that was uh, Fashion Week that day, uh, 2015 Fashion Week in New York. Then all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, I'm like, where am I at? And so, old stamp. Well, no. I said, oh, wow. We was about to be on the show, everything, all that stuff. And next, you know, that snacks asked me, can I get on the show? I said, I don't know. Let me see. Then next, you know, they only wanted me on the show. And as you know that I, and as you know, they said snacks, uh, on the show. I said, yeah. I said, yeah. I said, that's why, I said, cause they didn't want it. They just wanted me. I said, hold on, hold on. I said, hold on, y'all. I said, listen, I'm not going on the show unless he going on the show. Cause that's like my brother and I ain't going to let that happen. 
they say, hey, you're well worth for that. Because most people like this in this time and line trying to get on shows like this like to get about who they people are. I said, no, I, they said, you're a real one for that. You're a real one. I said, thank you. I just like, you know, like, you know, but I feel like showing too much loyalty can easily hurt you. And I guess it did punch me in the face. So I guess that, and when that happened, you know, of course we saw and make sure we get our W-2s, you know, cause you know, every time we air, we get residual checks. You know what I'm saying? You know, so every time it airs, every time you get paid. The more it airs, the more you get paid. The less airs, the less you get paid. So, we got on the show. He really didn't say nothing at all. It was just me. So, I'm like, okay. So, I'm like, did I do the right thing or what? Because he didn't say anything. You know? So, that, so, that part, when I got done with him, everything, all this stuff, uh, it took me a while took me a while to bounce back because I was trying to get myself together, my health. People were still trying to manage me, trying to figure out what was going on. His people, his people means like his family know it was the truth what he was doing because his family didn't care for him. Mm. But his friends was lying because each, each of them, I was chilling with each of them, each one of them and God got me away from all of them. You know, because when they couldn't get what they want out of me, they would start bad mouthing. So I, like, I had to let, I'm glad I got them out of there. And, um, yeah, when I got better, I mean, when I started meeting some people, and it got being much better in life, and I was so happy. So I started changing around, started doing better stuff, my other, other music, and start going crazy. People still remember the bird songs, but I got other songs too. It ain't ha how it was like the good money to you, but it got better, you know? So that, so everything got better, like much better, way much better. It might not seem like to y'all much better because y'all think, because yeah, we a perfect duel, but that might, perfect is not ain't perfect. Right. How you find out that you were sick? How you find out about your kidney? That You said you was in the hospital and you couldn't hold nothing down? Yeah, that was my stomach. That was your stomach? Yeah, but how I found I got sick, I kept losing weight. And when I kept losing weight, I thought I was getting healthy, but I know I was getting sick and started rejecting itself. And I just started throwing up green stuff. And when I throw up green stuff, it means reject, Kenny was rejecting itself and it just, boom, and they took it out back in 2020. I got the scars from it, took it out, and I've been on dialysis since 2020, like 19 to 20. So that part, and the dialysis ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? Dialysis ain't no joke. This is real good. The tubes. Oh, the tubes. Oh yeah, you gotta wear, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's up to your kidney. No, that's up to my heart to oh. pull the blood. The oh. stuff right here for the dialysis people, you know, Sometimes we have a catheter yes. or we have a graph or a fissure. I have a graph or fissure, it doesn't work. They tried it three times. I have small veins. They tried it three times and it doesn't work. So I they try to say, What about that? Nope. I have small veins, don't work. So they say, Keep this in. So until I get a kidney, the only way you can get this out is two ways a kidney or you die. You scared? No. Why? No. Why? Because been through so many surgeries, everything. First, I was scared, but I'm like, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? This might be a fight God trying to tell me. Let's go. Sure, right. This might be a fight that God trying to tell me. Let's go. You said this might be a fight that God trying to tell me. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Big dog. It's big dog. I fuck with that. Real shit. Yeah. Yo, you you really impressing me, man. Thank you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, like like they say don't judge a book by its cover. Right. And I really rarely do that. But like, you're very fucking intelligent. The way you act on camera I'd be surprised a lot of people. You don't even know. And I got my own publicist, got my own stuff. I've been on He's Power. surprising you too, Annie. I've been on Power 105. I've been on Power 105. 
been on um, magazines. I got magazines right here. Let me see what you got. What you bring? Bring me some gifts? Yeah, I bring a couple gifts, but <clears throat> first one, this was my first magazine I ever made that was on me. Fire. You know, he make magazines. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Wow. I am in there more, see. Yeah. Damn, it's crazy. This is nice. You gonna give me an autograph? You gonna sign up for me? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna give me an autograph? You gonna yeah. sign my joint? Yeah. All right, all right, for sure. All right, then I'm on this Chicago Bridge, Black History, so I'm Black History. Wow. I made Black History. Wow. So you switching your whole image up? Mm-hmm. Because before I wasn't on this. I'm telling you. So all the so all the so all I have my own trading cards. Wow. Anti bullying buttons. Wow, I'm about to put this on. Anti bullying button. Yeah, see, I'm switching. See, that's what I'm saying. If I was still stuck with snacks, we wouldn't see this. Right. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm glad I got away from him. I'm glad God got me away from him. I'm so glad. I'm proud of you. This is why I said don't go back. Right. I, be trying to tell people I'm not going back. People are like, yeah, I still can work. This is why. This is your answer. Right. You know? And I've been on news about the, the mailing. And for, um, I've been on the news in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, about that anti-bullying campaign. Mike. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Let me set you up. Okay. I've been on Maryland and Chicago Bridge, I mean, I mean Maryland, about the um, campaign, the anti-bullying campaign. You know, somebody helped me out with that. Then I've been on, uh, like I said, Adam 22. Uh, I did DJ Small Eyes. Uh, I, when I did first did Vlad TV, I didn't like how Vlad TV was coming at the first time. But I was trying to do with them again, but they said no. I'm like, mm, must be not to be with them again. Um, it's probably, it's probably, they're probably not on that vibe, but it's okay. Yeah, they're not on this vibe. The new vibes, they, you know, because the old vibes are trying to make me like I'm, like I'm slow or something. Like, yeah, they like, they like the ignorant shit. Right, and. You know, uh, a lot of people thought uh, I would then know nothing or that. Because just like you said, don't judge a book by its cover. I never judge a book by its cover. How I really judge a book by its cover, if I feel your energy is not right, that's who you could judge. But, For sure. Right. But a lot of shall not judge regardless. But um, I've been uh, talking to some people. Uh, I've been talking to some people. Uh, I've been doing much. I'm on blog sites. I've been doing talk about the kidney. Yes. Uh, I have a GoFundMe, and I also have a documentary too. And the documentary is bringing about my childhood and the doctors. And the doctors was talking about about the kidney, about the sizes. My blood type is O positive. And you know, a lot of people has to donate, but you know, if you can't donate. You know, still share the story. So people who knows the don't, not just to me, but anybody who needs a kidney, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got the pen medicine right here. Like this the link. And this when you fill it out. You fill it out, then you get your blood work done and see what blood type then. If you really see, then you gotta go to all these tests, like a swab test to see if you're really a match or that. And you might have to take a blood and urine sample. The reason why I said blood sample. Because that make sure your blood is right and reach the levels what they say in the urine sample too. Cause let's say you are a match and your urine is could flow out right. So your urine flows out right and the kidney works well and it could flow. Let's say if I got the kidney, so make sure that urine and that kidney in my body works well. So oh. the urine, cause I don't pee anymore. How do you, how, 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 you got a catheter? This is for this. This is, this is for wow. the blood. Pull it out. Flow is out. That's why you think drink 32 ounces a day. Water? Yes. Any liquid. Any liquid. No liquor. Because that's still stuff in your system. And you get clean. Because I've seen some people die in dialysis. Even Freeway will tell you. 
I th- I've been on freeway podcast and talk we talk. You know, and he he my he he really admires me how I ask the doctors questions about the blood pressures, everything like um like um like that time I had a mini seizure because dialysis will mess up your heart, everything. I had a mini seizures and I'm like, what the heck? I thought I was getting ill. I have an aneurysm of my heart. I have little tumors inside my brain. No, so it's like very small. Don't don't be cause too too hype or crazy. I'm okay. I'm here. It's not going to happen. Okay, so um, I go to the doctors every six months for the brain and for the heart. Everything looks normal. Still good. I'm still on the. I am on the list for kidney transplant. Some people still try and donate. I'm still grateful. Regardless of the chance I get, you know, I, every chance I get, I said thank you God this morning. When you wake up, do you say thank you, God? Do you? Or you just go about your day, your business? Now, people ask me this, and I like this question. Hey, when you was doing this comedian, all this stuff, would you was a God? I said, before I came back, I was always in church. You know, when you step out of church, you don't know what can happen. God will lead you to something to do or some job to do. It might seem like, mm, but God sometimes puts you the test. You know, you always going to pass a test. You know, you might not seem like you pass the test. Like I always pass certain, I always pass, not certain tests, but I always pass the test. But uh, I remember that uh, being around certain people, like certain celebrities, like I'm gonna give you an example, like the Kardashians, Justin Bieber, everybody, I've been around them. I got pictures with a lot of them. Pictures is one thing, but it's like, if you like, I know like being around them, it might, just for a vibe, like everything is just a vibe or a spare of the moment. Now, I know I people don't like hearing this about P. Diddy, but he told his kids to be more like me. I was shocked. Um, Kardashian was just so happy to see me, was good. Uh, Kanye West, the only one took a picture of me. Cause they were like, hey, you don't know what you did. I said, what did I do? I said, how you get a picture with Kanye? You know he don't take pictures. So I said, I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. Um, that Joe talked to me. Um, some I, I was in Jimmy Fox's house. He cooked me breakfast. And this was what I was upset about. Because when Snacks was with me, Jimmy Fox had a plan was me and him go around the country, the whole country. This was before I had dialysis and stuff. We go around the country. We try their culture. Mm-hmm. And he said to Jamie Fox, I'm not doing that. I said, why not? That's the ultimate a town Snacks goal. Why would you say no? That he's going to back us up. He didn't want to do that. And that, that blew it out. I was so hurt. Ray J, I love Ray J. Don't get me wrong. I really love Ray J. But I told Ray J, thank you for all you've done trying to do. Because he was trying to buy me shoes. I said, no, thank you. I don't want it. Snacks like, you crazy. I said, bro. No, I just said no. Like, you know, I'm not looking for you, everybody to do stuff for me. You know what I'm saying? If I could get on my own, if I can't, I'm going to work for it. Like I said. And Ray J hand me his black card. And I'm like, he was trying to get me to keep it. I'm like, no, 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 no. Because I don't know if it's a catch or what. Or right. is it a trick. You don't know if something's tied to it. Right. Then that's you know that. I said, thank you, Ray. He was annoying me because he was talking to somebody. I was trying to hand him his card back because he was about to go bowling. Then I said, and, we, and he stopped annoying me. Then we went to some diner. And I said, thank you, AJ, you're done, but I feel like you're going to fuck me over. And he said, what would you say? He started snapping because who people who snaps like that, that means they was trying to do something. Then he told WAC 100, and WAC 100 was like, because uh, cause we saw WAC 100 in the mall. This is the first time I talked to WAC 100 at the mall. And, and he, he told me, he said, I, Ray J told me what happened. I thought I was in trouble or something. He said, I love what you did. I love how you stand up. That's what's up. I said, oh, Snacks was shocked because he thought, I said, yeah. I said, oh, wow. And I had, you know, I said, oh, yeah. wow. But, you know, I remember WAC 100 was trying to, at the time when me and Snacks was going through our situation, he, Snack, uh, I guess Snacks must have called a lot of people up trying to get me to talk to him again. Even WAC 100, even WAC 100 is like, I said on Bloods, listen, I said, what you say? Bloods what? I said, what? I said, I'm from Philly. I'm a cuz. What you saying? 
Well, cuz, don't quit. What you saying? I threw it up. He said, do it again? I said, yeah. I threw it up again. He said, you good. <laughs> I said, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I miss Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. That was my boy. That's when I was with him. We were shooting dice. I miss him. That was my boy. He had, and Lauren London was so nice, too. We always nice. Like, you know, our first stop was Atlanta. And that's where we saw Buster Rhymes, a lot of people, right? Then we start coming up even more. And that's where we start meeting a lot of people, French Martin and all this stuff. Even at the BET Hip Hop in Atlanta, that's where I saw a lot of people. Nelly, first time I saw Bow Wow, a lot of people. Start talking to people from the West Coast, the South. I miss the South, because that's what South with a lot of great things. The Southern out there? With the water, ice water, mm -hmm. wood grains. Goatee, Paul, well, others, a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people. But now, since I grew up and much wiser, and these new people that we listen to, like, I know I used to listen to the young boy NBA, and I remember when I talked to him, I said, Bro, you gotta slow down. Because you, I say, you got so many kids right now, you don't need to be doing that. He don't wanna listen to me. I said, That's fine. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a lot of people that I talked to, haven't got to talk to. I'm glad that our people that I talk to, oh, they can hear me, you know, because this stuff ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? You know, because a lot of people ask me, how you still fighting and how you still happy? Because I'm happy because I have a life and I'm glad to give it, show you my energy, what I could do for you. You know what I'm saying? Because this world, you could be, you could be miserable so much, you could die quick and now you even know what happens. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we just had an earthquake. God's shaking this up. Like, listen. You better pay attention, yo. It's getting crazy. Um, it's like ourselves, like, what, what are we here for? Just ask God, you know what I'm saying? Cause this life is real. It's so real. And I feel like, and I always ask my mom this, was it worth for me to be born? My mom said, yes. You're here for a reason. Cause when I came out, I was dead. The corpse was wrapped around me. And 23 days later, I was dead when I came out of my mom's stomach. But the corpse wrapped around me, and I was like, done. And uh, cold blue and all this stuff, the whole hospital had a newborn dead baby was me. But I, that was, I came good. 23 years later, they found out all these health issues. I got all these health issues in my phones. I wrote it down, and everything is a lot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I could let you read it. I got, I got some of my notes. And my notes is right here. Start from right here. My issues is, my issues.